Hi friends. We are reading a story about different kinds of friends. Friends in our communities. We'll talk about what a community is and what kind of friends they might be. There's different kinds of friends that you can have. You can have your best friend, your family can be a friend, and there's. we'll talk about other ways today. Okay, we have a few sight words I want to review. And this book is a chapter book with a glossary and an index. So we'll get to talk about what that is today. Hang on. All right, here is our story. Friends in your community. And that is the word, one of the first words I wanna talk about, community. This book has a glossary and there are certain words in the glossary that help us know how to pronounce them and it tells us what they are. So let's go, let me show you first that there is a glossary. Okay, table of contents, chapter one. Who do you see each day? Starts on page two, chapter two, who helps you? On page 10, the glossary and index on page 15, and then there's a comprehension check on page 16. I want to jump to the glossary. That's gonna have important words that are in this story that we might not know how to pronounce or know what they are. So, page 15, here it is, page 15, the glossary. So the glossary is a mini dictionary for the book. Here's the word community. They use nonsense words that are here in italic print to tell us how to pronounce that word. Community. Community. These words in uppercase, that's the part of the word that we stress, that we say a little bit louder. So it's not just the same, it's community. Community. That is a place where people live and work and it's on page two. The next word, this word is guard. Here it's telling us in uppercase, guard, how to pronounce that. The definition of it, someone who keeps others safe by keeping watch. That is on page four. The next one, librarian. Here's a way to spell it, to sound it out. Librarian, librarian, and that is a person who works in a library and is in charge of books and materials. That's on page seven. Who is the librarian at Grant? Mrs. Shule, we love her. So our glossary helped us with some of the words then um, told us how to pronounce the bigger words, what page they might be on, and then the index will help us with other things. So if I need to know who are workers at school, they're on all of those pages, workers in the neighborhood, workers who keep us healthy, workers who keep us safe. Hmm. So those are all the kinds of workers that we're going to be talking about that are in our community or our neighborhood. They could also be called friends. That's why I said we have different kinds of friends. Okay, let's read with me, please. Friends in your community. The title page again. Friends in your community. Table of contents, chapter one. Who do you see each day? Starts on page two. Remember on um, chapter headings, they can use uppercase letters wherever. Chapter two, who helps you? That's on page 10. Glossary and index on 15. Comprehension check on 16. Okay, chapter one. Who do you see each day? My turn. A community, ooh, do you see how that is in bold? That is a hint that this is a special word. And remember that was the first word in our glossary. 
Usually in a book where we are learning information, words in bold can be found in the glossary. Okay, here I go again. A community is a place where people live and work. People who work in a community help in many ways. You may see some workers all the time and some workers you may see just when you need them. Here's the caption. This mail carrier brings mail to every home. Okay, your turn on this page, ready? Chapter one, who do you see each day? A community is a place where people live and work. People who work in a community help in many ways. You may see some workers all the time and some workers you may see just when you need them. So here's our caption. This mail carrier brings mail to every home. Wow, what about the mail carrier? Do you see them every day? Nope. Maybe I bet you've seen them a lot more now that you've been home. Have you been able to go get the mail from them? Okay, my turn. Oh, look, there is the crossing guard. Another word in bold, that was in the glossary. A crossing guard makes sure children walk or ride across the street safely. She tells children when it is safe to cross. Caption, this crossing guard talks with children at a corner. Okay, your turn on this page. Oh, look, there is the crossing guard. A crossing guard makes sure children walk or ride across the street safely. She tells children when it is safe to cross. And the caption, this crossing guard talks with children at a corner. Do you get to talk to our crossing guards? Sometimes if you're um, stopping, they help us be safe. We should only cross when we have a crossing guard at the crosswalk. Next page. Here's the caption, my turn. This school bus driver drives very carefully. Your turn to read that. This school bus driver drives very carefully. I'd say every school bus driver drives carefully. My turn. The bus driver helps too. The bus driver pulls the door open and waits for the children to get on. Then the driver takes them safely to school. And for us, a lot of times it's to field trips. Okay, your turn on this paragraph. The bus driver helps too. The bus driver pulls the door open and waits for the children to get on. Then the driver takes them safely to school. Ah, here's a good one. My turn on this caption. This teacher helps the girl at the computer. Your turn. This teacher helps the girl at the computer. My turn. Oh, look, there is a teacher. A teacher greets her children with a friendly hello each day. There is so much to do in a day at school. She helps children learn to read, among other things. We learned so many things. Okay, your turn. Oh, look, there is a teacher. A teacher greets her children with a friendly hello each day. There is so much to do in a day at school. She helps children learn to read. Okay, oh, here is a word in bold, librarian. My turn. The librarian helps children in the library. A librarian greets the children with a friendly hello each day. The librarian can help someone find just the right book. He can pull out books for children to share. Or in our case at Grant, we have a lady for our librarian, Mrs. Shule. Your turn on this page. The librarian helps children in the library. 
A librarian greets the children with a friendly hello each day. The librarian can help someone find just the right book. He can pull out books for children to share. My turn. This librarian talks about a book with the children. Your turn. This librarian talks about a book with the children. My turn. You may see a shopkeeper selling things. Shopkeepers sell different things. One shopkeeper could sell fruits and vegetables. Another shopkeeper could sell toys. So a shopkeeper. They're basically at a store and they are um, help you uh, buy things. So, oh my, so many different kinds of stores. Shopkeeper, compound word. So it kind of means they're taking care or keeping um, track of the shop. That's kind of where that word came from. Okay, your turn on this page. You may see a shopkeeper selling things. Shopkeepers sell different things. One shopkeeper could sell fruits and vegetables. Another shopkeeper could sell toys. My turn. This shopkeeper sells things at a card shop. Okay, your turn. This shopkeeper sells things at a card shop. So uh, like birthday cards and things like that. And obviously they have other things there. I can see stickers and some fun uh, pencils and keychains. Okay. My turn. This hair cutter gives the boy a haircut. Your turn. This hair cutter gives the boy a haircut. So they can be, there's lots of words for hair cutter. Um, you could go to um, a beauty, beauty salon or they could call them hair stylists. All right, my turn. You may see workers who do things for people. A shoemaker fixes shoes. A bike repair person can fix a bike. A hair cutter cuts hair. Okay, your turn. You may see workers who do things for people. A shoemaker fixes shoes. A bike repair person can fix a bike. A hair cutter cuts hair. I love how these words mean exactly what they say. Shoemaker. What does a shoemaker do? They make and fix shoes. What about a bike repair person? Exactly what it says. Same with a hair cutter. And the mail carrier, that would be another example, it means exactly what it says. Okay, so that is all I want to read in this book today. We will finish chapter two um, tomorrow and um, talk about how all of these people can be friends in our community or your community. Okay, watch for these kinds of people in your neighborhood. Have a great day.